So today I'm going to show you how to make um, some salt dough Easter egg decorations. So these are just little kind of um, just little Easter ornaments that you can make, and you can make lots of different things out of salt dough. Um, so here's the recipe, and here's how you do it. So for your salt dough, you'll need a bowl or a jug or something to mix everything in. You'll need a rolling pin, a spoon or wooden spoon, um, and um, some grease proof paper. And then one cup of flour, half a cup of salt, and half a cup of water. So to start, what I'm going to do is just put my flour and my salt in together. And I'm going to give that a little mix around. And then I'm going to add good mix together until it forms a kind of dough. So once you've kneaded it into a ball and it's kind of holding its shape just like a normal kind of dough would, almost like a play-doh consistency, you're just going to get some flour, just as if you were rolling pastry or something. I'm going to pop it on my table. And I'm going to start rolling it out. Now you want it fairly thin, probably about the thickness of a pound coin. And at this stage, if you have a cutter, you can put it into any shape that you want. I don't have an egg cutter, so I just made a little template out of um, card. And I'm just going to go round with a knife. So really you can make this um, decoration into any shape of any cutter that you have. And once you've cut out your shapes, you're just going to transfer them onto some grease proof paper on a baking tray and bake on the lowest heat. So I baked mine on um, 50 degrees in non-fan oven for about two and a half hours, so not hot at all. Just until they kind of harden. And remember, if you do want to hang them, you'll need to add your little um, holes for the string to go through at this point as well. So I'm just going to use my knife. You might want to use, I don't know, pencil or something. Here is my uh, fresh salt dough that I just made. And here is one that I made earlier. So this one, if you can hear, is now ready to be decorated. It has been in the oven for two and a half hours and has uh, completely hardened. So to decorate, I'm just using some acrylic paint. Um, uh, I'm just gonna paint a nice base coat on there. And this is the bit that the kids can really get involved with and make it their own and stick things on and all sorts. And you can either paint a design on or I'm going to actually draw a design on. So first, before I do that, I'm just going to give it a nice layer of PVA glue. So once your egg is completely dry, um, you can either kind of stick things on, glue things on, things like that. I'm going to use some permanent markers to draw a design kind of similar to the ones that I've done already here. So I think I'm going to go for maybe this one here and pick kind of contrasting colour. So I'll go for blue. And these work really well because you can literally just draw your design. And there you have it. So now I'm just going to add um, a little string to the top and I'm going to go 
for a pink one. And let's move it through the back. And through the lip. And there you have it. Easter decorations made from salt dough. All things you have in the house. And perfect to brighten up your Easter.